You may have seen or heard conflicting reports in the media about vitamin D and its ability to reduce the risk of COVID-19. So what do we actually know? Well, vitamin D is also called the sunshine hormone because it's made by our skin in response to UV radiation from the sun. And in addition to strengthening our muscles and bones, it's thought that vitamin D attaches itself to cells that make up the body's defence against infection and switches them onto killer mode, preventing bacteria and viruses from infecting cells in our lungs. So can vitamin D also protect us from the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19? Well, there is little evidence to support this theory. Data from over 46,000 people used in 42 studies worldwide was put together, and interestingly, it showed vitamin D supplementation had a modest but significant protective effect against lung infections caused by bacteria and viruses, but we can't prove whether this protective effect necessarily applies to SARS-2. Some recent small studies have shown that having low vitamin D levels was associated with more severe outcomes from COVID-19. In addition, those at most risk of being vitamin D deficient, including elderly and nursing home residents, people living with obesity and people with darker skin, such as those from black and Asian ethnicities, have been worse affected by the virus. However, other studies showed no link between vitamin D levels and its effectiveness in preventing or treating COVID-19. Several larger studies are underway to clarify this evidence. However, the government advised that every adult in the UK should take 10 micrograms or 400 units of vitamin D each day between October and March, when the sun isn't strong enough in the UK to make adequate amounts of vitamin D in our skin, or throughout the year if they are at higher risk of vitamin D deficiency, particularly during lockdown. Thank you for watching this brief video on vitamin D supplementation produced by Charles Latchford, a fifth year medical student at the University of Manchester.